Hi Pisces, it is Thursday today, April 11th, 2024. Wow, everything's looking good right here. I see you in the Ten of Cups already. Something feels really, really good. It feels right in your energy. Spirits, what does Pisces need to know right now at the time they're viewing this video? Let's shuffle one more time, Pisces, and then we'll look at your tarot and see what shows up for you. Pisces. Pisces even showing up in the bottom of the deck. Your energy is coming through strong today, Pisces. Remember, take what resonates and leave the rest. Okay, so it looks like something has been really difficult. All right, you're showing up here as the Wounded Warrior with the Nine of Wands. And um, I really see something coming together, something that you've been working on working for and a celebration taking place someone here with you with the page of cups that so we're going to go back and clarify I'm not sure who that is but it's like you're looking you're looking away from this person you may not even see them there something that you've been manifesting working for is going to pay off it's coming in right now it may you may even feel it right now Pisces it depends on you know the timeline may be a little bit off here for some of you and then you have the five of pentacles the three of pentacles the nine of cups the king of swords and the two of pentacles on the bottom of the deck, you have Justice, Libra Energy, and the Four of Cups. All right, so let's see what's going on, Pisces. Why is the Nine of Wands here? Wow, I didn't know all of these cards fell out. I didn't even feel that. I guess in order to get to the nine of wands energy you went through a lot and you know right there you feel like you're tired you feel like you're exhausted you you want this new beginning you want this wheel to finally spin so that you can move ahead you can move forward this is cancer energy it's been a long battle Pisces and I feel like you feel like you you know like you're alone there's something here in your energy Pisces I I'm seeing maybe you don't feel really well um you're kind of holding back you kind of kind of drift off off someplace in your mind sometimes because you get tired you get very exhausted Tell me why the Nine of Wands is here. You have the Hierophant and you have the Page of Pentacles. The Hierophant is Taurus energy. There's another energy here with you that I feel like um, someone here has offered you some type of help or something with this Page of Pentacles energy. And this person... Um, if they're not in your energy already, they're coming in. But this person is very committed to helping you out of a situation that you're in. And so I feel like that is this person has kind of helped you move along through this struggle. Without them, it's like there, there's two people here. It's like you needed this person's help in order to to start working on this new plan and to 
to be able to release something in your energy that is really, really difficult. And it's like there's there's a separate energy here with the Page of Cups. So there's, there's someone here that you may not even be noticing. I'm not sure because you were looking away. Why is the Page of Cups here? Knight of Wands. The Lovers, Gemini Energy. And you have Six of Wands. Wow. So much new, so much newness coming into your energy. Pisces, you, you even have a page on the bottom of the deck. Um... You're about ready to cross the finish line with Six of Wands. You have literally been off to battle with the Nine of Wands energy here that showed up. And you feeling tired, exhausted. And now you're about ready to cross over the finish line. You have love here in your energy. You have the Lovers and you have the Knight of Wands. And I keep seeing somebody in you guys' energy that they show up as the knight of wands like you may feel like they're they're very inconsistent or you may be um a bit suspicious of this person that wasn't really the word i was looking for but um you may be feeling you know wondering if this person's really you know what they're what they say they are you know because they they plan with you they work with you somehow and i'm seeing this person actually coming through with coming through with what they promised her i feel like it may have taken longer than what you expected it would but they will go through with what they promised Your wishes are coming true. The star is here, Aquarius energy. And I'm seeing you celebrating something. I'm seeing you going out with a few friends or something. Maybe, you know, the Three of Cups energy. Maybe going out to lunch or having, having you know, a little get together or something. The star is here, so you... You kind of stuck with it. You may have overthunk things with the Two of Swords about this wish coming true um, and felt stuck. And at times you felt like, I don't know whether this is going to work out or not. I may have to shift into another direction. But you manifested it and it's it's going to happen. <laughs> You have the Magician, the Five of Pentacles, and the Three of Pentacles. In fact, you're still manifesting this energy, this new energy of something that you're working on. Tell me why the Magician is here. The Devil and the Magician together. The Eight of Wands. The Ace of Wands and the Eight of Cups. It's like this manifestation, this thing that you're making happen, you're walking away from something, okay? And you're walking towards the Ace of Wands. And this Ace of Wands is actually your manifestation coming into your reality. You have the Devil here, which is Capricorn energy. And then you have the Eight of Wands. And so I really want to find out... more about the devil but what i feel like the devil is here pisces is i feel like there's someone here in your 
in your energy where there's some codependency here. Tell me why the devil is here. It's so it's an energy that you have felt, you know, like you couldn't leave for, you know, yeah, the, the Empress Taurus energy. But if you notice, there, there's someone here that there's a chain going from your neck to their neck. I don't know if this is a love, if this is a child, because the Empress is a mother. Um, but there's someone here that you feel like you just, you are, um, or they are very codependent on you, okay? And there's a lot of messages going back and forth, like as if you're trying to make something happen um, to help out this other person. This other person, they follow you through, through life. And it's like you're always there for them. This person up here, this is that's helping you out. This is a second energy. It's not the same one that I'm seeing here. Tell me why the Five of Pentacles is here. Judgment, the Fool, Aries energy, and the Chariot. This person listens to your advice, and I'm seeing you saying to this person who is somehow. I don't know, they may be broke, um, they may have some type of a handicap or something, but this person listens to you, like you're the one in charge, you're the, you're the one who um, carries this person through life somehow, like you are their rock, their hero, and you're making a decision You know that they need to let go of something, and it's something huge, and it somehow ties into what you're working on with this other person. But um, I'm seeing you telling them, we need to let go of this. We need to get going. All right. We need to go. We need to go. We need to go now. The chariot is here. You have the white and the black sphinx facing two different directions. And we both know that this person, I'm telling you, they have, sorry, I can just hear like someone playing their radio or something outside, but this person has like some type of an issue or something. And so, um, they're not totally aligned with you here. They listen to you. You guide them, but this person, they're kind of, oh, I feel like they're not much help to you. I don't know, let's keep going because something there it just feels a little bit off with this person and it's kind of making me um this person's speech may break or something about their talking something about their speech this person they may talk over you like if you try to tell them we need to do this or that we need to do things in a certain way in order to make something work that you you may feel like at times that this person isn't actually listening to you okay but they're they're following you anyway tell me why the three of pentacles is here so there's three of you here because remember i told you you have this first energy up here that's helping you that's kind of inconsistent and then you got the person that you're actually trying to help all right which 
has caused this third party to come into your life. It plays a big part of this third party being in your life. And then you have something here that you're not expecting that's going to happen. It's just when you're ready to make this move, just when you're ready to get going, something's going to happen that you're not expecting. So you're moving towards this new thing that you've manifested, showing up next to the tower. And they're here. But I don't see. See, this is the person who's been following you around. It may be a child. It's someone. Someone that depends on you. You are their hero. I just don't get why the tower is here. Because I see all the energy surrounding what's going on here. The three people coming together, working together, making plans. And then I see the soul connections. This is person that's following you around. Um, I think it may be a child for a lot of you because this one has been in your life for a very long time. And this new project that you've been manifesting, that you've been trying to make happen to make the world a better place for this person. Um, the tower is coming in. And I don't get it. I don't understand it. Why is the tower here? Oh my gosh, Pisces. There you are, the high priestess, and you have the ten of cups. You used your power. You're very, very, very strong. Nobody else would do what, you, what you've done here. Nobody else. I mean, very, very few, if any, would do the impossible and work the impossible to create the happy, the happiness that you're creating in the energy of the other people around you and you stay silent doing it no one knows how difficult this is for you and whatever this tower moment is it brings in so much happiness and it's something that um is coming unexpectedly with the tower because I, I thought it, but I wasn't sure. But it's coming in unexpectedly better than what you would have ever dreamed. Because there were times here where you were standing at a crossroads for this wish fulfillment here and feeling stuck and not sure whether to continue even to have this celebration. <clears throat> so I'm seeing you you know with this tower it's an it's an unexpected moment of complete fulfillment happiness and it's almost like I'm hearing I feel it now I feel it now this is real this is for real it seemed too good to be true Okay, and then you have the Nine of Cups. Why is the Nine of Cups here? The Hanged Man, Pisces Energy, the Hermit, Virgo Energy, and the Knight of Cups. I see you feeling completely satisfied here, Pisces, you're going to be very, very happy. And when you're when you're alone here, um, in the hermit and in the hanged man energy, you're taking a look at the bigger picture. And I feel like, you know, life is always an uphill battle. And I feel like there's like this next project on your mind that you're wanting to take off on. And I'm seeing someone 
It's like someone approaching you here. I feel like whoever you're working with up here, they could ask you to marry them or something. They want to be they want to be in it with you forever. They don't want to be separate. They want to be in your life forever. And then you have the King of Swords. Yeah, see they're they're coming with love and commitment. All right, this person's coming to you um wanting to even though they were working with you here, it's like they want the love. They want the commitment. They want to be a part of your life, completely and fully a part of your life. And this is where you may be questioning, is this really what I want? Because I'm seeing you, for most of you, you're single or you're showing up as a single energy with the Nine of Cups. And so you're really... You know, going deep within, looking at the bigger picture. Do I really want this marriage, this happy home, this happy family? This is someone that you love and care about. They're coming. This commitment is coming. Tell me why the King of Swords is here. You have the Five of Swords, the Nine of Pentacles, and you have Temperance Sagittarius Energy. Boy, there's someone here on the outside looking in um, at this home, this family, or whatever this energy is that you're creating. There's there's like a legal matter or someone here that is on the outside looking in. And there's kind of a bit of a fight. It could have something to do with money here. But I'm seeing some type of um, balance being created in that too. You have temperance, Sagittarius energy. So I feel like this may have something to do with whatever you're leaving behind because you're, you're walking and moving. Things are going to start moving really, really fast now, Pisces. The chariot is in the center of your reading and you're finding peace and balance in your life. And then you have the two of pentacles. Why is the two of pentacles here? But you, you need to make a decision here that you've been holding back on. At least you've been keeping it to yourself that you've been holding back on it. Leo is here. This is strength. And then you have the Seven of Cups and you have the King of Pentacles. There's someone here that you hold on to for dear life. Like they are a part of you. You are a part of them. It's this person who's been in your life for a very, very long time. And it creates a bit of confusion here with the Seven of Cups of whether this third energy is going to fit into this life with the two of you. Okay, but this person, even with the King of Pentacles, this person wants to be here with you. They, they want to have it all with you, Pisces. So your justice is coming in. And I think I told you guys justice is Libra energy. But something here is going to be made right. And it could be... It's kind of giving me the energy of something that you weren't really sure whether it was actually going to come through or not. But you've been working and manifesting on it. It's taken a really long time. You have the Knight of Pentacles. The successes here with the Ace of Swords. The Seven of Cups here next to the King of Pentacles though. But do you want this other person to be with you and to walk into this new, this new world with you? That's the question here. I don't know why not. I see love here. I know what the word I was looking for earlier, earlier was skeptical. You felt skeptical about this person's intentions for some reason. Tell me why the Four of Cups is here. So you're kind of, when this person comes in with this Tenth Cup, because you were in the energy here of the Nine of Cups, like something about feeling single, it's like you're perfectly fine with that. But love is always nice, you know. 
to have someone there with you, someone by your side, but you've experienced losses in the past when you've completely, you know, given into that energy and expected it to always be there. It didn't last. So you're kind of like, you know that offer's there, but you're, you got your arms folded. You're looking at, you know, do I really, really want to trust this? Tell me why the Four of Cups is here. Because you are moving into calmer water, Pisces, and there's someone else rowing this boat. I'm seeing a strong person here that has been helping you or is somehow stepping up to the plate helping you with some type of difficulty. And whoever this person is, they don't want to go anywhere. This person's energy is sincere. Spirits, what does Pisces need to know right now? Advice for Pisces. Know your worth. And this is New Moon and Taurus. And find a balance. Full Moon and Libra. Find a balance. Because I kind of feel like your, your energy is pulling you in two different directions right now. You know, like you... You kind of enjoy the single life and all of this energy of giving to yourself. But there, there's a new person here that loves you, that is showing up in this energy, that wants to, that wants to have it all with you. Okay? So spirits are telling you to find a balance and to know your worth and embrace the flow of life. This is full moon in Gemini. All right, Pisces. So these are your tarot cards today. What messages came through. Thank you guys for taking the time to like and subscribe. And um, for being here with me. And you guys who donated, thank you so much. And I love you guys. And we'll look and check back in here again tomorrow. Take care of you today, Pisces. Things are moving along perfectly. Namaste.